ready. Got a package in the mail today. Pretty sure I know what this is. It's our hydro shot. 40 volt max. That's the more powerful one. the instruction guys a quick look I've got to charge up the batteries and then we will do uh, we'll give it a try and then give it a review thanks everybody for tuning in I appreciate you spending the time give this works hydro shot a quick check see how it works with pressurized water right, we'll be back here's our battery charger Then there's the indicator lights. Let's get batteries. So go there and run away. Green light flashing. Two green lights flashing. <clears throat> I believe it goes solid green when they're ready to go. All right, all right. Those flashing green lights have stopped flashing and gone solid, so that means we are ready to use the batteries. Our batteries are all charged. Quick connect, pull back. This is the selector nozzle that goes on the front. 
again. You pull back. Extended air truck. Safety. High is 450 pounds per square inch, low is 290. Right, let's go find some water. Looks like it's got a little debris filter and float and clip for the bucket. Basically, it's just a little clip, float, debris filter. This is zero. Fifteen degrees. Back to forty again. It's pretty good.
get to the front and back of the car without moving the bucket. That's a good thing. Gasket in there. Same thing, you pull back. You're all done. Turn the pressure. Alright, now this hose is energized. Now it's time for a quick review. I've got to say right off the bat, it performed a lot better than I had expected it to. I was never impressed with the as seen on TV kind of items, but this did very well. Both with the bucket method, as well as with the garden hose, it was very efficient. The battery pack was very easy to figure out, and it took about an hour and a half to charge the batteries to full. The hose worked very well, well except for the little clip. It didn't hold very well and it's actually missing from the hose right now. I see it. It's on the bucket. I'll have to figure out something a little bit better for the future. Well, for the $200 that it cost me on Amazon, it was certainly well worth it. This was the more powerful of the two options that they had and I certainly don't regret buying it. This could be a dangerous item if it's handled improperly, so be sure to read, understand, and follow all the literature that comes with this tool. It's not a toy. Keep it out of the hands of the kids, and have a great and safe, happy summer. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Pretty good.